Hi guys. <clears throat> Let me start that again. Good morning guys. I am starting this week's weekly vlog from my car. I'm just about to head into Manchester to meet with Lydia. Really exciting morning this morning. We're heading into Selfridges in city centre to um, meet with Estee Lauder and I think we're creating our own lipstick and we can name it whatever we want, use the finish that we want and the colour. So that is really exciting. So that's what we're doing today. I'm not shooting loads of outfits. I've just got the one I've got on which this jacket is, I saw it first. My bag is Coach and and I think this is from either Misguided or Pretty Little Thing, I can't remember. So heading off to petrol station first stop to go A, grab a coffee, B, fill up, and then get on the road and head to Manchester. So I will take you along with me. Of course, if you are new to this channel, then you won't know that last week was the first time that I introduced the post notification giveaway to my weekly vlogs. So basically I'm currently running a giveaway. So stay tuned for the end of the video to find out what you can win in this week's video. But all you have to do is be subscribed, click that notification bell, and then let me know in the comments below that you have done it along with some way of contacting you whether that be an Instagram or Twitter handle or email so yeah stay tuned till the end of the video for that but for now let's get the show on the road and let's head to Manchester there she is <laughs> are we double vlogging we've arrived go on I'll let you take this one we've arrived at Selfridges everyone and we don't know where to look and it's, it's okay. not open so no, early birds we're just gonna wait until it opens and then because our appointment's at 10. 10 till 12, what colour are you going for? Do we think? I'm thinking either a red, like yeah. a bright red, or a nude. Yeah. Like this kind of. Because I'm actually running out. Of this. What colour is this? Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. It's a, I think it's Audrey. Audrey. Or Hepburn or <laughs> one of the two. It is an Audrey Hepburn lipstick, but I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember the name of mine. In Pillow fact, Talk, I, mean, I think, I've is got my lip right here. Oh, so. here we go. Have you tried their lip liners? No. Uh, yes, I yeah. have. No, it wasn't Pillow Talk, it was another one. I think it's Pillow Talk I've got. Hepburn Honey. Hepburn Honey. So yeah, something along the... I think I'm going to do a nude. <laughs> we failed. <laughs> We've, We've already recorded this clip on Lydia's vlog. Yeah. Essentially, a bit of a confusion with the emails. We thought well, it was city centre. So did other bloggers that are meant to be going later. So we've told them, go to Trafford Centre if you want to do it. It's not here. Never mind. It's, event. it's not here. I know. We haven't, well, I haven't got any other outfits to shoot today. You've got, one. got one. So I think we're just going to enjoy each other's company today. Do a bit of... For a change. Yeah. Normally we're like, Ooh. I know, but we've not got loads of heavy bags. We're just going to... Yeah, I could even dump my bag in the car. Yeah. I think we're Maybe. just going to shop, have lunch, and then yeah. see each other again on Thursday to mm -hmm. shoot more out. Yep. Let's go shopping. Yay. We're in a thrift shop, but it's like a thrift vintage. Shop. What? We're in a shop. We're in a so shop. No, I said we're in a thrift shop. We're in a shop. We're in a shop. Uh, we're in a thrift shop looking at some bits, but it's like reclaimed vintage. It's quite expensive. No, I oh, really. Oh, that wasn't oh no. Me, was it? I wasn't, wasn't like that at all. Mm, I don't know, it's hard to say. <coughs> We've just had a moment, haven't we, Lydia? We've had a moment. Yeah. Lydia's, you know, had a hello and she doesn't know who it is. She said, hi, Lydia. She so said, hi, she Lydia. She obviously knows who I am. There's Lydia going, hi. I was like, oh, are you all right? I'm not sure if it was no a idea who it was. or if it was an old friend. It wasn't an old friend. I'm, I never you'd know. Things, you'd know. You'd know. I'm really know. good at remembering things and like names and faces and stuff, and that's why I'm so confused. Yeah. So yeah, we're just having a browse, having a mooch before meeting up with Hannah. We're going to meet her for lunch now that we've got a spare two hours. <laughs> we're going to have like a late brunch, aren't we? Yeah. Slash lunch because we're hungry already. So we've come to Foundation Coffee, just waiting for Han, and you may recognise this from when we did our trailer filming. We did little bits from here, didn't we? Yeah. Over there. Over there. Somewhere. Yeah, I'll leave a little card so you can see it. I, I need to show that. you how to do it. I was <laughs> going to say I'll show you how to do that. So that's what we're going to do. I might have another acai bowl, which I had last time, which was really good. I had the salad. Yeah, salad's good. Okay, let's have a look at the menu and decide. <laughs> I've gone for avo toast, chicken avocado salad. What's that one? Egg, mushroom, avocado, bacon. A mixture of everything. Right. 
with Lydia's now left, but there's loads of baskets I could get for our log basket. But it's just we're in the middle of town and I can't carry them. I don't know what to do. Just heading back to the car now, grab myself an iced latte for the road. And I think I might head back via Barry charity shops because it's been a while since I've had a look in there and I have um, a few bits that I wanted to haul so maybe do a full haul video and have a look and see if I can pick up any more bits today um so yeah that's what I'm gonna do back home now it's 20 past four I'm just gonna run upstairs and get changed I did pick up some charity shop bits that will be a new video coming soon. I also missed another parcel, which is one of the problems about working from home, being a blogger. Um, you could always get a PO box. I know a lot of bloggers do that so that you've always got it manned, essentially. I need to head to send a parcel first. Whilst I'm already out, I think I'm gonna nip to the gym. So have a little workout. Oh. <sighs> And then on route back, it'll probably be near enough time for dinner. So I'll pick myself something up. And then I've got the rest of the evening to just chill. I mean, like, because I've been out all day, there's a few emails I need to get back to. And admin-y type things that I need doing. But this week's video is already scheduled to go live, which is a Zara haul. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you in two. <laughs> Workout done, so now time to decide what I'm having for dinner. And I'm eating solo tonight because Tom is in Brighton. With work, he's just sent me a picture, it looks amazing, so knackered. I thought I would just show you briefly what I bought for myself, seeing as though, like I said, I'm cooking solo tonight with Tom being away. So I went for this smoky barbecue chicken breast slice, reduced from 250 to 133. And with that, some iceberg lettuce at 35p. I also got some cucumber, which is like 30p. Uh, see what else we have in the cupboards that I can add to it. And then for dessert, I treat myself to one of these. I haven't had them in years. Well, it feels like years anyway. I used to always get them. And then coconut chunks because, I mean, it's a fruit. It, well, is it a fruit or a nut? I don't know, coconut. So yeah, that is more or less what I'm having for dinner tonight. And then I'm gonna actually have a quick shower. I uh, don't need to wash my hair or anything, so just a quick rinse. And then I'm gonna prep, and then I'm gonna prep that and actually take it upstairs and have it in cozy and snuggle up. It's a bit of a mess down here, so I don't wanna look at it right now. And deal with that tomorrow. And then, like I said, laptop, set up YouTube and or Netflix and then I've got Big Brother to watch tonight which I'm into. Wednesday I'm planning on going to meet Lydia in Preston and then there's that film out in the cinema with Blake Lively and that I really want to see. Let me know if any of you have seen it. Good morning everyone. Today is Wednesday and I'm off to Preston to meet with Lydia. Just before we do leave I thought I would just unbox a couple of bits that I received yesterday because I didn't vlog yesterday. First thing was this little package from L'Occitane. So I've just opened that up. I've not properly looked inside yet. So inside we have, ooh, Nerolian or Orchidee. I don't know how to pronounce it. If I was saying it in French, I'd probably say Neroli et Orchidee. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, such a pretty box. Loxy Tan's packaging is always really, really pretty. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I can smell it already. Oh, look how cute that is. The packaging is so gorgeous. It's like this cream and very, very subtle blush pink. So I think what I would probably do is keep the fragrance, the shower gels leaked slightly. Otherwise I would have probably gifted this to you guys. But maybe if I keep aside the body milk and hand cream, that could be a cute little giveaway gift for one week for my post notification giveaway. But let's have a look at the bottle for the fragrance. How pretty is that? Oh, that is, it's very, it's quite mature smelling. It reminds me of like a Chanel number five kind of smell like it is quite mature but i love neroli so yeah thanks to loxitan for sending me that that was a nice little surprise that i wasn't expecting also i have this package which arrived yesterday and i may take 
one or two of these with me today to style up for my Instagram, which is very fine to one if you don't already follow. This was sent to me from a brand and they are packaged up with the full packaging. So it is a company based in Asia. I will leave the links to all of these items and where you can find them below. First bag is this one and it's in the typical like bucket bag style like once you actually open it up and you have things inside it's kind of like more of a bucket bag style bag which I really like. I love the colouring as well. I love this like canvas kind of material mixed with the faux leather. I'm guessing it's faux leather. So it has the option for long handle and short handle. So that is that one. Next up is again, like I said, another bucket bag style bag in again, that kind of beigey neutral tone that I'm loving. And this is what it looks like. It has like a cutout print which I thought was quite unique quite different so it has this little canvas that you can put inside to put all your belongings in and keep them nice and safe and secure and then the handle is safely stowed away in here this is actually it feels really really good quality and then moving on to the next one we have a what looks like to be a straw bag this is super super cute okay so it's like a kind of picnic style basket bag just a little tiny little clutch one i'm not a fan of this it looks a bit cheap that i'm not gonna lie it's just like a navy and what's meant to be white polka dot scarf but so i'll probably bin that but you can always um wrap your own silk scarf around this is definitely like better suited to the warmer months the polka dot continues on the inside it has a longer strap as well so this one is a cute little straw bag but i thought this could be like an all-year rounder because of the shape of it it's kind of like a structured clutch it's got the gold chain all the hardware and everything is has got like plastic on it so i'll take that off in a due course but yeah so it's a nice good sized clutch that would fit my phone camera and purse in. Moving on, we have two more items here. So this is the next one. Oh yeah, I remember ordering this. I was really excited for this. It again is like designer dupe inspired. I'll probably take this tag off. And the hardware is all covered up with plastic to keep it protected. It feels quite weighty, this one. Has it got a long strap on the inside? A little bit fiddly to get into. Yeah, it's got a long strap. Oh, it's got one. Oh, and it's got a thick strap as well that's handy and last but not least is this bag it's like a brownie orange kind of color i love the wooden handles they are actually wooden and it's got a zip at the top so you can keep everything secure and safe and it very much reminds me of like the simon miller bucket bags this one nice and spacious on the inside with a long strap as well it also comes with this little silk scarf if you wanted to wrap it around the handles or anything but again I would probably use my own version now on to booze grab myself a copy copy coffee for the road oh I can't speak this morning I feel quite tired Tom came back last night late from uh, Brighton he traveled back with work and it's good to see him so I'm gonna see him again tonight I might even go via Burnley and see him this evening because He's working on opening this new restaurant, which I've talked about in previous vlogs. But yeah, I'm just going to message Lydia and set off any second. I'm getting stuck to the packaging. So I'm actually in Preston now and I am by the HomeSense and TK Maxx because I want to do an autumn homeware haul. So I'm going to have a look in there. But I have just come from meeting with Lydia and we were shooting four outfits, five outfits. But it just started raining, so we just powered through them, which is a bit of a shame because we didn't get a chance to have lunch or anything like that but the weather is pretty miserable so uh best to get off and she's feeling a bit poorly as well which is um not good but i hope she feels better soon oh there's also a tk maxx i was meant to bring something back for tom but i've totally forgot oh well i can do that another time on to home scent
afternoon. It's now half past five. Tom is due here any minute. I am sat in the car waiting for him. Oh, is that him? No. I have 1% battery left on my phone, which isn't great. And I don't have any charger. So I'm hoping Tom will get here soon and he might have a spare. Um, so just editing Sunday's vlog. I started editing it in the Starbucks in Preston. Um, and then I bumped into a very cute dog. As you saw there, he was called Barney. He came for a cuddle. So cute. I'd love to get a golden retriever. I think Tom might be here. One second. I can see him. Not that car, the one going that way. I'm gonna go say hi to my boyfriend. Editing done for now. Ah, my hair's trapped. Good morning. Today is the day that I'm getting my hair done. It is Friday today and I'm not heading to the hairdressers until about quarter past one, I think my appointment is. So, this morning I'm just getting on with some editing. One second. But this morning I'm just going to enjoy my breakfast. I ended up picking up this, which I've not, I've had it before, but I've not had it in ye well, years, months I'd say. It's the Russian Fudge Collective yogurt. I've got my coffee and I've got the end of Big Brother that I missed last night ready to go. So I'm just going to finish watching that whilst I have my breakfast and then get on with editing. I've also got a parcel that I received so I'll open that up with you guys in a bit as well. But for now I'm just going to enjoy my breakfast so I'll see you in a sec. Oh it's actually cold. Ugh. Check the weather it said 8 degrees this morning. I'm having shoppers regret. Regret? Regret. I went to a local charity shop the other day, picked up a designer bag. I also spotted in the same shop another designer bag, a DKNY one, that I kind of bypassed because it was more expensive, but now I'm actually thinking about it. And I said to Tom last night that I spotted it, he was like, eight pounds is not expensive. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's not. So I'm gonna have a look. If it's still there, I'll have a proper look and see if I like it. And if I do, I'll get it. And then also there's another local charity shop that I'm doing a lot of charity shopping at the minute. I hope you guys like that. I mean, I didn't used to charity shop. I mean, years ago I did, but more recently, the way that I've been doing charity shop hauls, I noticed that the more often you go in, the more chance you are of finding good bargains. So I just go like for a bit of a stretch of legs, bit of a break from a screen and just go to a local one for five, 10 minutes and then come back. Yeah, there was also another local charity shop that had a couple of chairs that I really liked. And again, they were two, they were 15 pounds each for a set. Yeah, 15 pounds each, there were two of them. So 30 pounds in total, which I thought was kind of steep for what they were. And considering we don't need them, we do have two bar stools in our kitchen area anyway. I'm just not a big fan of them. And and um, I think I could easily list them on Facebook to just have someone come and collect them. But if these ones have been reduced that I spotted or if they're even still there, because that was a couple of weeks ago now, then um, yeah, essentially I'm just getting out for a bit of fresh air, a bit of stretch of the legs and then back to editing before heading to the hairdressers later. So let's go. It was still there, so I picked it up. To be honest with you, it's not at all how I remembered it. I must have envisaged this like, I don't know, like cream and light brown, and it's not at all, it's more of a dark brown. Uh, this is what the bag looks like, DKNY, like I said. 7 99 it was, and yeah, like I said, it's more of a dark brown, so I think with an all cream outfit, this could look quite nice. But I also um, came across an Osprey bag, and I really like the size of it. It's just like an over crossbody type one, and it's faux croc. And as you can see, it's Osprey. This is the quality of it inside as well. It looks like brand new. So this one was only $3.99. So I picked that one up too. Now I'm gonna head to the other charity shop, although the rain is not fun. Oh, the chairs that I was in the charity shop. So they were still there, but they were still, they were 25 pounds for this, for like the set. But I'm just like, do I really need them? And these are the ones we currently have, these two. So they're black and silver. The black and silver does work with this worktop. So I'm like, yeah, in fact, now I'm back and I've seen it all. I'm glad that I didn't go for them. If it were mega, mega bargain, I would, and then we can maybe take them to a next house wherever we go, but 
No, I don't need them. I'm gonna open this now. So the first thing is tan out of 10 self tan lotion in dark, a fast developing self tan mousse in flash bronze, <laughs> a couple of lollipops, and then two mascaras, the Mega Lash Mega Volumizing Mascara, and then this one is the Lash Prime. We have two quads, and the first one is a bronzer and this one is a highlighting quad. That one has a matte finish, the bronzer. I think that one in particular would be a good contour shade. Can you see it's quite cool toned? And then the highlighters, I feel like this quad, you could just go over all of the colors and then highlight. So we'll give these a whirl. And then we've got two The Glitz products, which is a liquid glitter eyeshadow. Nice. And then this, I've been um, really excited to try. And it's the liquid highlighter drops. I use the iconic London ones. And although a little bit goes a long, long way, I am intrigued to try out different brands to see and compare how good the liquid drops are, the Iconic London, because I think the Iconic London ones are about £30. I think I'm going to get some work done, some emails, and then grab myself some lunch, then head to the hairdressers, where we're going to transform this into something very different. So stay tuned for that. Oh no. Look at our palm. Oh, it's not a palm, but that plant has fallen over. And that's because that bucket is full of water that it's just like capsized because of the rain, oh no. So I'm back and this is my final hair. So I've had a bit of a chop. I know, and also the bangs cut in a little bit again, which beforehand, they were kind of like grown out to this length, all of them. So I've just had those shortened up and a bit more added to it, which I love. Uh, yeah, big fan of that. And uh, yeah, a bit of a chop just so that it's all, you know, like really good condition at the ends because I was starting to get a lot of split ends growing out as, growing out as long as it was. So... Yeah, and then a natural curl put in. So I go to a local hairdresser's called Christian Smiths. I've worked with Regis before though, and they did the same sort of like highlighting process that she does. So I will leave a link to my come to the salon with me so you can see what products we use and everything like that. And because I have had so much cut off, I can feel hair in my sleeves. So I'm gonna change this top and head to the bar, which um, I think Tom's working out, he's doing staff training tonight, so I'm gonna head down there, grab some food from his restaurant, and I'm thinking burger and chips, treat myself, it's Friday afternoon, why not? And we have confirmation that me and Lydia are going to London next week, so I'm super excited for that. National Reality TV Awards were going, so we need to wear a full length dress, so I need to rummage through my wardrobe. Very exciting vlog next week. Whoa, how different do I look with a red lip? <laughs> I very rarely wear red lipstick. Um, but I've just put on a very plain outfit and I thought new hair, so I just thought new lipstick. This is the, I'll show you which it is actually. It is the Christian Louboutin Rouge. So I'm gonna go find Tom now, see what he's up to, but I'm in a bit of a predicament. I'm in a parking bay that is loading between the hours of seven and seven. And it's now quarter to 7 p.m. So I'm hoping they've all gone home and within the space of 15 minutes I won't get a ticket because that would be a nightmare. We're going to a wedding tomorrow night, just the evening reception. I'm thinking red dress, red lip. Different for me, bold, I know, but I never get dressed up and go out, very rarely anyway, so I thought I would change it up. I've got a red dress that I really like and I've never worn it. Let's go eat some food because I'm hungry. Good morning, it is Saturday and today I'm waking up, I've just got this pretty little thing, hoodie, pretty little thing, leggings, just to keep it cash this morning because this evening we are off to a wedding reception, um, not until about 7ish and it's about a half an hour's drive away so Tom's going to drive us back so we're not going to be there super late drinking loads or anything but 
I figured seeing as though we'll be getting dolled up later, just keep it cash today. I've got a video to film, so I'm going to sit there and film that in a second. But uh, first of all, I'm going to go to Booze, grab myself a coffee, grab some breakfast and watch some YouTube whilst I do that. And then get ready to film. Although it feels kind of dark in here, which is a little bit annoying. But um, that's the plan. And I'm tired this morning. The aftermath slash sneak peek into my homeware haul. <gasps> oh no, I've got all this to tidy up. I just muted it, but I've got Big Brother there on Ooh, from last night. And I've had a delivery. I'm just trying to like reorganize all these logs into this log basket. This is something that I bought from JD. I got some new Adidas trainers and I also bought two other pairs from ASOS. So hopefully they'll arrive today, if not by Monday. because so I want to decide which is my favorite pair, keep them and then send the others back. Hopefully, you know, it's like whenever you order things online, you're like, oh, but I like all of them. Excuse the hair, I've just like thrown it up just whilst I'm doing all that log work. Okay, so I think these ones are gonna be my favorite. I think these are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna keep. And these were from 100 down to 80. And look how beautiful they are. I wanted a new like beige and white pair. So another one that I've ordered from ASOS are um, like a camel kind of color. And then the other ones are beige and white like them, but they're more chunky trainer style. So I think I might be a bit like, <laughs> unsure on those essentially i'm getting them to replace these swift runs which i love and i love the color of these as well but they've both got holes in the toe so they just need to be thrown out now i can't even sell them or anything they just need to be binned which is so sad so i think this afternoon i've got a little pile of ironing to do there and a bit of like tidy up things here and there to do but i think i'm going to put on the Greatest Showman. I've never seen it. I've always wanted to, even though I'm not a big musical person. I've seen that you can buy it on YouTube for like £3.50 or £3.49, something like that. So I'm going to do that. Alongside getting lunch, I've literally just ran to booze to get this. This is fresh. It's warm. So I'm so excited to have that. And I just grabbed to have with it some extra mature cheddar because let's face it, what's better than extra mature? I also got some honey roast ham, so I'm just going to have like a ham and cheese sandwich. And I've got some, some veggie crisps that were on offer to just have. And then if I get a bit peckish later as well, these were reduced down to 95p, these little sausage rolls. So I'm a bit like, oh, I get a bit anxious like for events or anything like that. Can't help it, but so I'm a bit like, I don't know if there's going to be food there. I don't know what the deal is, what, how long we're going to be there, anything like that. So... I just thought I would have maybe a nibble to eat before we go and fill up, even if it is on bread and rubbish stuff for you. Just so that I'm comfortable tonight, knowing that I'm all full up. I don't know, I'm weird like that. gone for i actually can't remember where i bought this which is so annoying um I, it actually got gifted to me a long time ago it's like a red bandage dress so very different for me a bit of color bit of pop of something but yeah i've had this dress for so long and just never worn it so i'm wearing it tonight i've got like smoky brown eye nude lip liner from number seven which is like my all-time favorite not got anything else on my lips so i might put a bit of mac hue on and then i've just slightly curled my hair again. I'm gonna put on some nude heels, nude bag. Good to go. Good morning everyone. I realise I look a little crazy right now because I've like done my makeup without the brows or eyes. But I just wanted to show you whilst I'm doing it the um where can I put you? The Technic illuminating drops that they sent me. And if I compare it to the illuminating drops that I use from Iconic London, it is a little bit more not pinky but this one has got more gold in it like more bronzy gold and this one is like i swear by it i never thought it would run out but i've noticed i've not got loads of it left so maybe i will run out one day so i thought 
whilst I've got everything done and just about to do my highlight, I would just try this one. So let's give it a whirl. It's 30 mils. This one is only 13.5 mils. So I'm just going to dot a little bit on my cheekbones here and the other side. Because I know with the iconic ones, a little goes a long way. So start off with just a little bit of product. I've got X Factor on there. It's just adverts at the minute. Yeah, it's less, it's actually, I think, a better colour for me, this one. Okay, so it's not as, quite as blendable as the other ones. So I'd probably just do it, like, a bit at a time. Like I said, start off small and then build it. I like that. I think what I would do with this one is also go in with a powder highlight. So this one is Double Gleam by MAC and just pop a little bit on there you can see it can't you yeah i really like that actually um so would definitely recommend but now i'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup i'm going to go and head into burnley um today to help tom with the new place that he's working on just because um they have a lot to do and it's opening next week so um i'm not here next week to help him out so i thought i would help him today it's Sunday, it's casual, it's chilled and then later on when I get back I will do the post notification giveaway that I'm running this week so stay tuned for that in a second but for now let's finish off this crazy looking face and head into Burnley and grab some food. Beautiful day, it's cold though. Um, really sunny but really cold so I think what I'm going to do is take my laptop to Burnley and maybe work from like a cafe for a bit or when I helped him out and other news, I hit 20k on YouTube yesterday. So in new look at the minute, looking for things that I can wear maybe or take to London, we'll see. So I've got a few bits to try on, sneak peek. So I'm going to try them on and then the things that I do get, I will put on my Instagram for a friend. One, if you want to head over and follow me, then you'll see if I choose any of these to style up. Let's try on. Yummy! Hello! <laughs> that supporting the boyfriend. Is that watching? What's her finishing off? Put my subway. Good evening. It is 17.10. IU 10 past 5. And um, I've just got back. I'm actually so tired. I've got... All the Depop things, I listed a load of new stuff on Depop again, it's very fountain if you wanted to buy anything. This is my big Depop tub that I've just pulled things from and packaged them all up. Ready to go to the post office tomorrow morning, uh, because they've not opened today on a Sunday. So that is ready for tomorrow. Um, I've just got back from Tom's new place, he's coming back within the next half an hour because he drove separately. And then we're just going to order some Chinese tonight or... Yeah, I think we're going to go with Chinese. Just to, like, have a chilled out evening. It's been super busy recently, especially with him working on this new place. So, lots of early starts and late finishes, especially on his part, which in turn makes me tired. Because 6.30am starts every night, every morning, I should say, are, like, okay. But then I'm still going to bed at, like, half 10, 11. And it's not quite... Like, doing that all the time is... Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit sleepy. So, really exciting week planned next week. I've got so much planned between Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with London and then Manchester Airport, potentially Trafford Centre as well, that I think I'm going to compile those three days into one week, because otherwise it's going to be a ridiculously long vlog. So that is my plan for next week, and then that'll just give me the back end of next week to have a bit of a breather um and just enjoy a few days it'll only really be friday saturday sunday that i probably won't vlog and if something happens that is interesting then i probably will vlog it anyway um but it's that time of the video and the vlog where i want to do my post notification giveaway so if you didn't watch last week's i've started introducing a new giveaway system to just thank you guys really more than anything i have a little crate here full of goodies I say little, very big crate full of goodies that I very kindly get gifted or I've had and not really 
and reaching for not using so rather than it be sat there or um sold or donated i feel i would give them away to you guys so last week was a giveaway with steeler makeup products and this week i'm going to change up and do jewelry so if you did see last week's vlog you'll have seen that i unboxed this which was um kindly gifted to me from Harvey Nichols so it is a premium brand it's called V Jewelry and they kindly sent me a little necklace which is gold with a little emerald emerald green kind of colored gem with a little shell there so this I think on Harvey Nichols retails for around the region of 70 pounds plus so cute little gift but a uh, I'd say a premium one and if it's perhaps not to your taste maybe it'd be a good gift for somebody to receive perhaps one of your family or friend members family members friends <laughs> anyway so that is this week's giveaway little prize there so uh all you need to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel hit that notification bell and comment down below with some form of contacting you whether it be an instagram twitter handle email however you want me to reach out to you if you are the winner then uh just pop it in the comments down below and i will pick the winner next week so uh good luck to everyone who enters and thank you so much for your feedback um on this new system and yeah i hope you guys like it and it's just a little generosity from me to you and best of luck i'm gonna take off all my makeup get into my comfies get x factor on this evening put on um trash tv typical sunday night trash tv which i cannot wait for celebrity bear grills island whatever it's called big brother it's all going on if i can stay awake that long i'll be honest i think i might fall asleep today so thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you like my weekly vlogs and i will see you in my next one bye guys